it is morning here. Hudson's eating breakfast. It is so hot. We were sweating. I woke up at four in the morning because he was panting so much. So I started the car for 20 or 10 minutes and let the air conditioning run. Now I am heading over to this glass building, which is where the bathrooms are. It's gotta be at least like 72 out already. We have not slept this hot in a long time. Morning. Good morning. On the road again. Use the left lane to take the I-10 East ramp, then merge onto I-10 East. Gotta get going, buggity, buggity, buggity. First fill up of the day. Last fill up in Texas. So we're figuring out where we're going. And we're gonna take Hudson for a walk because he's been in the car for too long. <laughs> you can see him over there sitting all weird waiting for his mom. We're in Louisiana right now going to find a park uh, to walk at and we're near the University of Lafayette. So it's kind of interesting here. A lot of old architecture. You ready? Are you go walk in? Okay. Yeah, I am. You're excited. We're in Lafayette. We're walking around this around this loop. And Hudson is like extremely happy to be out of the car. But he would love also to be off leash. Oh, what the heck? They are weird looking. Well, those are the ducks, I'm definitely not feeding them. <laughs> we don't have those type of looking ducks in New York. Look at all these ducks. There's a lot of them. And we're not eating, I'm sorry. Uh, buddy, are you enjoying your walk? Better than the car, I suppose. Proof they're going so slow. I'm just so fast. I'm talking to the camera. You know what I think every time I have to pick up this poop? What? Um, if anyone comes at me trying to do anything, I'm going to throw his poop at them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, now I have poop to throw at them. She just threw out his poop. He wanted to go with, but... He wasn't allowed. <laughs> oh, reunited at last. It's been so long. It's a big change going from uh, a dry 70 to a super humid 70. It's not that fun. I feel like a moist armpit. Hudson, hi. Hi. Ah, yeah. Oh, you just needed some Uncle John. Some Uncle John loving. Mm -hmm. She's like, I don't care. Mm -hmm. Finished our walk and I just got some Popeye's chicken. John is still in there. We're going to try it, huh, Hots? And the fries come in a box like this. They're good. Good fries. This is the famous chicken sandwich. We're going to try it now. Good. I like it. I maybe like it more than even Chick fil A. On the road, we're headed to Pensacola, Florida. We booked a campsite there for two nights. So, a rock hit my windshield right here like two minutes ago. Fantastic. So happy. Uh, I was not recording. I said, this is what the windshield looks like from the inside. I didn't want to experience this. This is the first time I ever had a cracked windshield. No need to experience it. Just, why? Why? <laughs> It'll be fine. I'm probably not going to fix it until we get back to New York, but I'm going to stop and get some filler to stop the crack from spreading. Uh, it sucks. <laughs> uh, so, Jess oh cracked her God. windshield, I'm, as I'm sure you've noted in her, or as she's noted in her video. Uh, but so we reserved a campsite which already was twenty six dollars a night yeah for two nights we reserved it uh it's in a state park which i i guess we didn't realize our, our fault we didn't really think about uh, you have to pay to get in the park yeah so it's gonna cost us each 25 per bucks vehicle. to get in so really i'm like we we could have stayed at a hotel somewhere for one night and then crashed somewhere but it is what it is we already paid for it so we're doing it 
Now, we came to a Walmart that does not have the auto center, so it does not have what we need, so we're gonna go to a different one. Yeah, and so I just looked at my email for the campground. If you're arriving after 3.30, uh, or after sunset, the gate will be closed, and you have to have the gate code, but you have to call by 3.30 in order to get that it's code. It's 3.36. Yeah, and it's 3.36, and like, I just looked at this email, and I was like, oh, like son of a B word. <laughs> uh, so I called them, and thankfully they were still there i got i got the gate code so we still have i don't know like two and a half or three hours to drive and you know what we're gonna stop we're feeling bad so I'm ice cream. yeah so we're gonna get some dairy we're gonna get some ice cream I'm in us today ice cream. first i need to get windshield filler so let's go do that all right off we go to the supercenter walmart so we're in walmart they're out of the freaking glass filler it. johnny jinxed us i probably did they, they ran out yesterday. Fantastic. We're driving out over the water right now. Uh, in 47 miles, we gotta turn. But there's a bunch of water that we gotta go over first. That uh, Bucky's here, because we've heard some things about it. And uh, there's, I've heard nothing about it. <laughs> there, there's a sign. We're letting Hudson walk. If your dog decides to poopy, please bend down and scoopy. Uh, Bucky's. Uh, Bucky's is awesome. <laughs> by far the coolest gas station I've ever been in. They got a ton um, of stuff. They made us buy twenty dollars worth of snacks when we were checking out. I mean, it... when we were checking out, the guy, uh, I, he, I think, what I heard was like, "You guys doing some snacking?" And I was like, "Yeah." But upon further thought, I think he asked if I wanted some napkins. Do you want some napkins? And here's Hudson. He wants some snackins. You want some snackins? Hi. Yeah, Mama got some cookies. Well, take them. Head north toward Bucky's Boulevard. And they're Hutsies. <laughs> oh. We're 13 minutes away of where we need to be. It's kind of creepy driving in the dark down this unknown road on a very thin strip of land here with water on both sides of us. We're going to Fort Pickens Campground. We gotta put in a gate code to get in. Um, yeah. It's dark and rainy. It's not how you imagine getting to Florida. <laughs> 